Okay, here's another little walk around. This time it's charging. Charging at uh, 32 amps off a commando via a Tesla uh, UMC. So there's it going into the Type 2 and you can see that the green light shows it's uh, charging. And if you get, look under here, you can see in here the Elcon charger doing its business. Uh, quick look in the rear battery bay. I've got a load of stuff in there at the moment. Typical Elan kind of uh, get your home stuff. And now including a multimeter, charging cable, jack and hammer. Uh, oh, and tow rope. Uh, along with Tonno. Uh, just there in the back you can see the DC to DC which also outputs 12 volts uh, for my um, vehicle to grid charger and that's the little ABC doing its business I've got two settings here on that's on without um, a UMC and that's to change the charging current from 32 down to about um, I think it's 11 amps uh, okay uh, coming round is the cockpit and uh, Look carefully, sorry about the reflections. Uh, you can see that the simp is giving us um, actually a slightly wrong charging current. I need to reset that of 89 amps. The real current going in is 56.3 amps, and you can see we're up to 72% uh, charge. And the sweet little gauge, uh, original. Smith's gauge is showing that too. Uh, taco and stuff, nothing, everything else is turned off because we're charging. And then into the engine bay with a bit of sunlight, probably see the Hyper 9 motor a bit better as it lurks down there underneath the, the battery pack. Um, and next to some routing cables, I mean routing tubes which take the uh, coolant pipes. Um, and Without repeating myself, that is the Prius uh, accelerator, um, 5 volt output, so the brake cylinder, non-assisted brakes, such a light car at 650 kilograms, it doesn't need it, and the vacuum pump which replaces the carbs, um, or, or rather the vacuum from the engine, which uh, effectively suck up the lift up headlights, which are here. Uh, it's a typical Elan thing. And going around the front, here's the, the nice badge and the virtual hinges, which I love. And coming round to the business end, this is the controller. This is actually my second controller. Um, the first one was damaged, uh, but was easily repaired because, unknown to some, it actually has internal fuses. So change one of those and uh, back in business. Anyway, this is a brand new one, so um, I'll probably keep this one. Um, the two bottles, the first one with a green lid, that's for the coolant fluid for the uh, batteries, um, and also the controller. And the one in the front is standard windscreen washer. I actually use the same bottle for both. Um, not much to see about the batteries, except uh, you see down there, great big Tesla name just enhanced uh, three modules they're actually stacked on top of each other but uh, they're spaced out very very carefully so there's no pressure in between them um, and um, that means that you get minimum uh, space usage so uh, it actually fits it's a very tight fit as you can see under the bonnet um, Underneath here is the uh, fuse, some more fuses and the high voltage stuff. Obviously the high voltage is designated with the orange cables and you can see down there the lovely clear uh, polyurethane pipe which carries the coolant fluid. Ah, a shot of the Prius pedal which is attached to the standard Lotus pedal. That's about it. Coming back round to the cockpit. And uh, there we go. Otherwise, the cockpit is pretty damn standard Lotus Elaine.